A subwoofer is like the beating heart of any good music or home theater speaker system. Usually when you hear great sound, what you're first noticing is the bass. And while some folks are pretty lucky to have big speakers, some of them with subwoofers built right in, most of us need a subwoofer to add richness to music and that heart-thumping excitement for movies and TV. So if you've decided a subwoofer is right for you, then comes the matter of what kind of sub to get. There are sealed and ported subs, subs with just one driver and some with multiple drivers, subs with really powerful amps and others maybe not so much, but perhaps the biggest consideration is size. So the conventional wisdom in the past has always been the more powerful, the bigger, the better the subwoofer. That's not really the case anymore. Today you have subs like this. This is the Martin Logan Dynamo 800X. It goes for about 800 bucks and it is extremely good. But then again, you still have massive tanks of subs like this. This is the Paradigm Defiance X15 and it goes for about 1500 bucks, eight times the size and twice the price. Both Paradigm and Martin Logan, along with Anthem Electronics, are all part of the same company. So if the same company is making tiny subs and huge subs, what's the difference? Why would you get a huge sub if these little guys are so great? That's what we're gonna explore. We're gonna talk about how these subs work differently, how they sound differently, and which one might be right for you. First off though, let's talk practicality. Many of us don't have room for a huge sub like this. You simply can't fit it, or it would look out of place in your living area. Space is a consideration always, but does that mean you should just get the biggest subwoofer you can? No, not necessarily. Here's what these two subs have in common. They both have really rigid cabinetry, which is acoustically inert. They also have really powerful drivers on them with big voice coils and magnets. You add those two factors up and what you get is a lot of weight. If you're looking at the specs of a subwoofer and one is 10 pounds instead of say 30 pounds or more, the heavier sub is going to be the better one. These also both have high quality amplifiers built into them. Amps used to contribute to weight as well, but today's digital amplifiers can be extremely powerful and weigh next to nothing. The important thing is that you have a good amount of power because no matter the size of the sub, more power usually translates into better dynamics and control. It does not necessarily mean louder though. So don't be afraid of power, especially if you're gonna go with a small sealed subwoofer like this. This little eight inch driver right here needs to move a lot and with a lot of force. And it's gonna to have to do that against the air that is trapped in this cabinet. So you're gonna need a good amount of amplification to push this driver around and make really great solid bass. With a ported sub, you can get away with a little less power because the bass is actually getting produced both in front of the speaker and from behind where the air can escape. So a small subwoofer like this can sound very big and it can put out a powerful rumble. It also tends to be very nimble and musical, but for all it can do, it's gonna struggle to get down to the very lowest bass frequencies. Bigger drivers, like the one found in this Paradigm Defiance sub, just get down lower and with greater ease than smaller subwoofers. And you don't have to go this big. This is a 15 inch driver. You could go with a 10 or 12 inch sub and that's just gonna get down deeper and lower than an eight or six inch subwoofer, even if that smaller sub has multiple drivers or passive radiators. So bigger usually means deeper, not necessarily better. You need to weigh your needs, but there's one final thought I wanna leave you with. When you look at small subs like this, you open yourself up to the possibility of getting two of them. And two subwoofers, no matter the size, is almost always better than one of similar quality. That's because bass frequencies have a really long wavelength and they interact with your room in a way such that with one subwoofer, you may get dead spots where there seems to be no bass at all. And that usually means you also have hot spots where there's way too much bass. Having multiple subwoofers helps make bass more even throughout the room. And again, it's not about louder bass, it's about better bass. So to sum it up, compact high performance subs like this Martin Logan Dynamo can offer amazingly tight, poignant musical bass that's also really good for movies. But if you step up to a larger subwoofer, something like the Paradigm Defiance, or even a little bit smaller than this, you're gonna get more rumble down low. You're gonna get a little bit more oomph and you're gonna feel it in your seat. It makes it a little bit more invigorating for home theater. But then you gotta think about this. You can get two of these small Martin Logans for less than the price of one of these Paradigm Defiance subs. And that may get you better quality bass all around. 
In the end, you're gonna need to look at how much space you've got and weigh your options to see where your money is best spent. Thanks for watching everyone. If you like this video, hit that like button. And if you wanna learn more about how to buy the best subwoofer or how to set up your subwoofer, hit that subscribe button because we've got more videos on the way. Also visit digitaltrends.com where you can learn more tips and tricks on how to get the best home theater setup for your money.